if you really want to know what is it that your ex is currently gossiping about you, this reading is definitely for you. So we're going to tap into your ex energy. And let's see, what is it that they're gossiping about you? Whether to their current person, whether to the people around them. Let's see, what is it that they're gossiping about you? What is your ex gossiping about you? While I'm shuffling the cards, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It kind of may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see, what is your ex gossiping about you? Let's find out. Your ex really thinks that you lie a lot. You never have the facts, you just talk crap. Like, you know, whatever comes in your mind, you just say it. You don't know what the truth is, what the reality is, but you always have something or the other made up in your mind about something. So they really think that you never had facts right. They always think that you you used to lie, you used to uh, make fuss out of everything, and that's how they see you, and that's how they talk about you right now. Wow. Let's see more. Divination abuser. I really feel like you know, this person really believes that you have been using uh, spell work, divination, to work things out in your favor. So you might have been somebody who has been casting spells on them. That's what they are telling people around them is what I see here. Let's see more. Marrying for money. Ooh, there you go. I really feel like, you know, your ex is really not happy. Maybe you have left this person for another person, or at least that's how they're seeing this right now. They think that you are somebody who was probably after them for their money. And now they think that, you know, since the two of you have ended the relationship, now you might be marrying someone rich, uh, just for their money. That's how they talk about you. They really think that you are not a good human being. And that's exactly what they are telling to the people around them, like their friends, their new people in their life that they're probably dating. Uh, they really think that you have manipulated them uh, for good, for bad. Yes, you have been manipulating them. You wanted to marry them for their money. And because you never had like, you know, you never had any solid thing to say when you even have, you know, I have you know had arguments with this person as well I really feel like you know, for a majority of you this person whoever it is that you are taking this read for who is your ex now I really think that this person really has a very bad image of you and that's exactly what they're portraying to the people around them they, they are telling like you know you were like probably you know not a good human human being and you were like really 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 um after their money or something um they think that you know that's exactly what they are telling to their people that you know, you and them have been together because you cast a spell on them or something like that. Otherwise, they might have not chosen you. Fake flexing, acts rich, losses money, acts fancy, shows off, etc. I really think that your person has been really, really, really mad at you because they think that they, they, they're really telling people that you have been somebody who always faked everything like you know be that your financial status be that like you know you act and show off as if you are rich and as if you are stable or as if like you know you are not after their money but that, that not has been the case so they're really telling people that you have always been a show off you have always like you know showed as if like you got all money and you are very rich very successful but you are not and then they probably found out that you were after their money that's their story let's see more what else are they gossiping about you uh into you good chemistry great vibes positive so they do have something positive to think about you as well or to talk about you as well the thing that you know you fool them you use them for their money but they were genuinely into you they were genuinely loving you they were generally there and like mad crazy love for you you shared great vibe with this person and um you know they you know that, that's you know um you were using this person and they were generally into you you and them had a great chemistry that's how they see or they present you know their relationship with you like they were genuine to you but you were not and they were always positive towards you they were always nice to you they always shared such a good vibe with you but you were the one who were like you know not good enough uh you ha you you were the witch or you were the villain in the whole situation 
is what I see. They really kind of like, you know, um, telling people that, you know, that's how your relationship has been like. You know, they were sincere, they were into you, but you were like generally not like there for them. Let's see, last message, stalker, stalking, watching, obsessed. They're really telling people that, oh, you know, my ex has been the most obsessed person and you know they were always watching me what i was doing what i was not so they they do have like you know that kind of uh, now with with every message that i have here i don't know why but your your you know ex's current person maybe they are not doing all this thing like you know, they are not like you know um they, they don't stalk them they don't message them much they don't like you know they are not obsessed with this person so they might be like you know sometimes they they tell you you know they, they when they tell you that uh, that new person or the people around them that you have been the stalker you have been the obsessed one you have been the like you know one who always kept an eye on them i really feel like you know they really don't see that coming through from from their current person or the people around them so they do feel kind of slightly neglected because i really feel like you know, for some of you this person has got habitual of your love care and attention and now if they are with another person they are not happy with that because this is something that they probably liked in you that you always kind of like you know kept an eye on them or you know something like that but deep down i really feel like you know, there is something more to what they're feeling and what they're talking about you um but i really feel like you know um this person miss being stalked by you is what I see here very clearly. Let's see, what is it? What is your ex's current feelings towards you? Let's see, what are they feeling towards you? What is it that they deeply, deeply, deeply feel for you? Because I really think that they do miss the good times that they've had with you. But let's see, what are their current deep feelings for you? We do have the Eight of Swords I mean, the, you know, the, around the... The cards that we, that fell off from the deck, we do have the Eight of Swords, we do have the Knight of Coins, we do have Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, Queen of Coins, Six of Wands, and uh, sorry, Six of Swords, and the Chariot. Now, what I see here is this this person, they really feel like you know they are stuck. They are stuck in a way where they're feeling trapped. Um, they really want to take. Take a step towards you because sometimes they do think that they miss what you had brought in their life but then they have somebody in their life that they are with right now probably um who they want to take things forward with but they really don't know you know if they're happy in that particular career connection or not i really feel like you know they really have they, they really think that they are at crossroads right now so there are certain things that they miss about you. Maybe they were taking time and you were not ready to give them more time. So maybe that's why they pulled the, the two of you pulled apart. But with the one that they are right now, I really feel like that person is more independent as compared to you. And that person is not giving your person too much of attention is what I see here. So there are like, you know, some concerns of your person, which maybe have been the reason why they are, you know, missing you, stalking them. And, uh, but they really want their life to move forward. Uh, they sometimes miss you. They sometimes miss your relationship with them, but they don't feel like reaching out to you because the past that the two of you have had, maybe it was toxic, but the current that person that they are currently dealing with, they are not also happy with that person. So they are still indecisive um, about, you know, who they have chosen over you and how this current relationship situation is for them. Uh, but they are definitely not happy. They really feel like tied to a situation under ten of uh, under the deck. We do have the ten of swords. So I really think that this person really wants the pain to end, the suffering to end. But they are definitely not happy without you. Uh, they they miss you, but then they have a lot of negativity to talk about you as well. So yeah, that's uh, what I see coming through for you for this uh, reading. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe. And if you're willing to purchase any of the services that I offer. Check the description box for that. Till later, the next read. Take care. Bye.